I, uh, well, you know what it is, I talk to the audience like I talk to my friends, and uh, people inherently will be shocked by that, some people. Mm. But I just think that it, to talk to the audience conversationally is better than putting on an act. Mm. Particularly since I work every single night, if I did an act, I would be terribly bored. So do you kind of go on stage knowing what you're doing, or do you leave it open and sort of go with it? Oh, it's all pre-planned. Oh, is it? <laughs> no. Oh, no, it's kind of conversational. You know, you go, I mean, some of it's planned, some of it isn't. And that, that adds an element of uh, spontaneity that I think is necessary in good comedy. I saw an interview where the guy said, you're not going to smoke, Bill. Right, right. And you got a cigarette out and you smoked. And... I'm a, I guess I'm a heavy smoker. I go through about two lighters a day. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, is that a lot? Yeah. But, uh, you know, I just want to tell non-smokers that uh, something they probably don't know, but they should. Mm. Non-smokers die every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sleep tight. <laughs> does, does, your cha does your act um, ev change, uh, evolve? Has it evolved? Does it <laughs> No, not no. at all. Or do you do I'm real worried about that. Yeah? No, yeah, it changes all the time, you know, depending on news stories and uh, whatever else comes up. I... I I like talking about things that I care about because that way, like I said, it can stay fresh. Mm. Like what? what? Uh, well, I don't know. The thing that in the States that just happened, that uh, death penalty thing, was that big over here? Yeah. That was incredible. And uh, seeing, uh, I found it ironic that Christians were against the death penalty because mm -hmm. if it weren't for capital punishment, you know, there'd be no Easter. And uh, <laughs> so. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Get him off. You know, this is... They, I hope they know this is the nice stuff. Too. This is... This is the, <laughs> let me tell they you. They come on, they call me up. Bill, we'd like you to come on, but don't be yourself. Oh, all right, mm. great. Do, do, do you think, see you're going to mellow in sort of older age? I doubt I'm ever going to make older age. Because <laughs> the, the stuff you talk about... Drink I'm 14 now, you know, yeah. so uh, age Very is fun. really lapping me. But that, that's another thing about your age. You talk about stuff as if you were brought up in the sort of Vietnam era. The 60s, era. right. But you were a babe a in baby. the 60s. My brother was older, so I think that music sort of uh, bled through the walls into my little baby room. Mm. But yeah, that's the era that I like. I don't really see... How you can discount an era when the philosophy was peace and love, mm. doesn't that still pertain at all? Yeah. I think it's ironic that in the 60s, kids made the peace sign, peace, yeah. and now all the kids are going, ah, forget it, Satan. Yeah. <laughs> Something's well, they, happened, you know. Or well, they turn it around. Listen, what do your, do, do your parents, does your dad kind of get on the phone and say, hey, Bill, love the Dangerous album and love the Relentless <laughs> one? They hate it, you know. Well, they don't hate it, but they just don't. They don't approve of the language, you know. My dad will go, Bill, do you have to use the F word in your act, son? Bob Hope doesn't need to use the F word in his act. And I'm like, yeah, Dad, but Bob Hope doesn't play the places I play. <laughs> Put him in some of these joints. I'd love to see his act. It'd be like Richard Pryor. Do you play some kind of dives, or do you choose uh, I used to. I don't anymore. Why not? But, but it, why not? Yeah. Well, I have a choice now. <laughs> isn't, it sort of, isn't it sort of more Let's fun? see, Bill. The, uh, the Queen's Theatre in London, or <laughs> you want to go to Alabama? Hmm. Well, you're going. Where, where's your first port of call? Glasgow. <laughs> hey, home of Billy Connolly. They'll, well, they'll what, like what does you. that mean? What, am I, what do I have waiting for me? Can I bust this crowd into Glasgow? <laughs> Are you familiar with kilts? Yeah. Yeah. Who are the British comedians that you like? I like, uh, well, when I was a kid, I saw this Charlie Chaplin movie called City Lights, and mm. it really blew me away because not only did it not, you know, did I not notice it, and it just didn't have dialogue, and I didn't even notice it. You know what I mean? It was just mm. so well performed. That really struck a chord with me. Have you ever had what, if you're in show business, what other people called a real job? <laughs> You know, what parents call I've, a real job. Yeah, I've held two real jobs. Well, you know, I just don't get along with bosses. I used to always get, Hicks, how come you're not working? You know, and I go, well, there's nothing to do. And he go, well, you pretend like you're working. And I go, well, why don't you pretend I'm working? <laughs> <laughs> Good you know, point. You get paid more than me, you fantasize. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, God forbid, something happened and uh, a doctor came to you and said, Bill, sorry. 
there's no way you can't tour anymore. You can't go on stage. No, I'd probably uh, I write too, you know. So. Yeah. Well, for other comedians or just no, for like screenplays. Yeah. Yeah. Have we seen any? Will we no, see? no, I just started doing good. it. Yeah, they're that good. They're that good. No, you just started. What have you written then? Oh, I wrote this movie about Elvis, because the big joke in the States is about that Elvis is still alive, and yet no one's done a movie about that. And mm. I asked the question, what if Elvis is alive? His death was faked. He decided to make a comeback, and no one believed he was Elvis, but thought he was an aging Elvis impersonator. And it's just right. sort of a black comedy while That's... he tries to prove that he's Elvis. And everyone always says, you can't be Elvis. You're too old to be Elvis. And he's like, no, I'm the exact age I should be. That's Because everyone great remembers yeah. him as Elvis. Well, good luck on your tour and good luck with Glasgow. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Hicks. <laughs>